side control series, we're going to look at moving from a, a top scissor pin into a reverse triangle. Um, so we're going to deal with the frames similar to what we did in our last video. And now from here, I'm going to look to get a scissor position on my opponent's near side arm. So if they're being really resistive, it's usually easier to feed a knee inside first. And I can use that knee as a lever to start getting my bottom leg in position underneath of their arm. From here now, I can put um, up and down pressure that's going to allow me to slide the arm in between my legs. From here now, I'm not going to be satisfied with the pin low on the arm. My goal is going to be to work this up as close as I can to my partner's shoulders. Um, I have a good position now. My top leg is pinching down and back. My bottom leg is lifting up and it's scissoring high towards my partner's head. From this position, I'm progressing, uh, keeping a cross face, keeping away the cross face, keeping my head high. If it does come in place, we're going to threaten our Americana right away. Okay, so my partner's in a pretty bad position, and you'll notice that my top knee makes it impossible for them to put their head on the mat. Let your head go down, it can't touch the mat. From here, we're going to lift the head towards us, and then we're going to push it towards our legs. We're going to take a big step with our uh, top leg, and the goal is to get my knee around the side of my partner's neck. From here, I'm going to start turning forwards. I'm looking to put my knee on the mat so that I can lock my legs. And now to get a nice tight finish, I slide my knees towards each other like a sliding glass door. Okay, if at any point this move doesn't work, I'm always going to be able to feed my arm through and move into my lateral to more position. 